Ooh, what's that smell? Mm, it smells like taquitos, baby. Let me get a lot of them bitches, because I'm on a diet. I'm gonna tell y'all this. I know there is at least one person that needs to hear this. So listen up, all right? Pay attention, okay? I'm telling you, dude, the small commitment that you can make to yourself by going to the gym, it could change your mindset like you wouldn't even understand. It's no secret that you would go to the gym to improve yourself physically, but you would be surprised at the mental aspect of how much more you could improve your the way you think, the way you feel, just by going to the gym. And I'll be real, it's not easy to, to start going to the gym. It's not easy at all. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. The period of time where I was doing personal training, it really made me understand the time frame on when people really give up as far as their fitness journey. After about a month and a half, about six to eight weeks, that's when a lot of people really give up. My personal opinion on why that's a thing, you're sore, you don't see much progress, if any, at all just yet and because you don't see that progress a lot of people are just like i quit what that's right after that two month mark month and a half mark six to eight weeks people just soar <laughs> muscle memory starts to kick in other people start to notice the differences in you physically you know you're sure if you're like you um you had if you're looking to lose weight your clothes are fitting a little bit more loose if you're looking to gain weight gain muscle your clothes are getting a little bit tighter you know it's those small things that other people will notice before you do because i mean let's think logically here you look at yourself in the mirror almost every day those small little changes you are not going to notice but other people that may not see you as often they will probably notice those differences before you do once people really start to see that little bit of progress it really just kickstarts their motivation to make them want to go to the gym the next day for you to look forward to going to the gym to seeing a little bit more progress and I bring this up because earlier today I was at the gym and it was leg day I hate leg day but after my leg day, I started to get some more practice in my calisthenic work. For those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, just recently I've been trying to get the one-armed handstand. It's pro I've probably been practicing it for like maybe a week and a half now. Not every day, but every so often. And just earlier today, I'm pretty sure I held that handstand for like maybe two seconds. But that little two seconds, man, you'd be surprised at how hype I was, man. That little piece of progress that I know is going to take me a further away because today it might be two seconds. Tomorrow it'll be three seconds. Next week it might be ten seconds, you know? Write that down, write that down! A lot of you would think, you know, oh I held it for two seconds, that's not long at all. I should hold it for five seconds or whatever. Man, stop with the negativity, bro. You held it for two seconds. You held it for zero seconds the first time you tried. You know what I'm saying? So like, shut, shut, your, shut your mouth. Get that in your head of showing yourself some sort of progress. And I promise you, one, the motivation to go to the gym the next day is gonna be a lot stronger, and two. The journey is gonna be a lot more enjoyable, which will make you go to the gym more consistently, and then more consistency is going to bring you a load of progress like you wouldn't even imagine. Damn, I'm good! Can you feel that? Huh? Can you feel it, Captain Compost? <laughs> oh yeah, I love me some traffic. It's like my favorite thing in the world. Oh. Trying to be my friend? Huh? Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Sorry, I was just staring at this bird over there. Oh, uh, if your hands weren't full, I would totally ask you for a high five. Damn. <gasps> I see a bike. I know you heard that. Hi! <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna be friends. We're gonna get together just fine, you and I, my friend. Ooh, you got S1K? Oh yeah, that thing looks sweet. I don't need it. Oh, bro. I don't want to be next to him. You're going to make me want one. Definitely don't need it. 
Oh, dude. What's up, man? I was debating come up here because you're going to make me want to buy one. I ain't got money like that, bro. What's up? I don't need it. What year is that? 22? I don't need it. California. Oh, you brought it here? So you just moved here? Oh, damn. Nice. You plan on doing anything with it? Okay. Looks nasty, man. Looks beautiful. She needs a bath, though. <clears throat> what? I said she needs a bath. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't need it. my left eardrum is shot I'm not gonna lie man up until I'd say like maybe two months ago I've never really wanted an S1K but man them things look the M1000 RR I love how it looks except the wings not a fan not a fan at all that little thing in the front like the front tire thingy I don't know what that's called but yeah not a fan of that either but, oh dude, all the carbon. I, I've always loved the look of BMW headlights. Oh man. Men at play. Play. that's not fun oh those things look so clean man yep hold on don't worry I got it 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 tell me what to do Hell yeah, bro. Life hacks, baby. Well, hello there, Mustang lady. Hello. Want to race? I'll let you in so I can see that ass. I know, Memento. on the highway oh yeah we're racing 100% oh another bike girl bike girl bike girl bike oh decisions girl and bike Ta -da. <laughs> Photo bomb. 
I promise you, one of these days, I'm going to tell myself, I'm going to speak it into existence. I'm going to run into a random biker, and it's going to be a girl. I'm going to fall in love, and we're going to have three beautiful children. No, nah, maybe two. Now nah, we'll see what happens after one. What's happening? Good. The lovely weather we're having, huh? Yeah, it's so nice out. Hell yeah. yeah you said what? It's so nice out, bro. Dude, I'm just not a fan of it being dark at 5 o'clock, you know? Right. You out riding a lot or what? What's that? Do you ride a lot or not? Usually on Sundays. On Sundays? Alright man, be safe. Yeah. Are those clouds turning purple? Yeah, I love being purple! Bye, friend. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful werewolves are coming out tonight, baby. All right, guys, it's going to get dark here soon, and I don't really like riding when it's dark because alligators and stuff. So that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed that video, don't forget to leave a like down below. And as always, guys, ride safe, watch out for alligators, and never forget to make life a vibe. Okay? Okay, bye!